I'm going to do some random pulls for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. For these random pulls, we're going to focus on identifying the strength in a dealt hand. We're going to either look for multiples and build around those, or we'll look for the predominant pattern, gather tiles that support that pattern, and then identify a pass. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps build your confidence with picking a hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. This time I rolled a four. Flower, south, green, pair of ones with um, dots, five dots, two bams, and cracks, pair of sevens. What would you play and what would be your first pass with these tiles? If I were playing this set of tiles, I would build around the multiples, flowers, the one, or the seven. So I would probably discard these and play either an addition hand, five, six, 11, or six, seven, eight consecutive run Kongs in mixed suits. Six, seven, eight with flowers. This would be the third hand down on the right. We have six tiles towards that hand. We have six tiles towards addition. And we have tiles we could pass right there. So that's what I would do here. Leverage the multiples, either an addition hand or consecutive run. And whichever one comes in is where I would focus. If we build up with the five addition, if we build up with these consecutive run, either way, one of these would probably be joker bait. I roll a four. We have a joker, pair of flowers, single north, lots of dots with a pair of threes. Here's a six, eight in bams and then a nine in the cracks. So if you had these tiles, what would you play and what would be your first pass? If I were playing this hand, I would discard the north. Focus on three, six, nine. Gather all three, six, nine till I run out of discards. We could even maybe just pick a hand right away. Three, six, nine. Fourth hand down, either one suit or mixed suits, whichever comes in. So I would probably discard those three for the first pass. I rolled a six. So we're going to be player two. Joker, pair of white dragons, single south, three single dots, two single bams, four single cracks. If these were your tiles in your dealt hand, 
what would you play and what would be your first pass? If I were playing this hand, I think I would focus on either a year hand using the white dragons or maybe consecutive. So I would hold one through four and nines. I don't think I would hold the south. We could play three, four dragon or we could maybe play a year hand Maybe keep the south since we have white dragons. Three, four dragon. We could even maybe play like numbers with fours. I think I would probably pass those three and focus on a year hand or consecutive run. Maybe like numbers with fours. After you arrange your tiles, look for multiples. That's the best place to start. If you don't have multiples, build around the predominant pattern. Keep tiles that support either the multiple or the predominant pattern. When you run out of discards, that's when you pick a hand. I hope this helps. Let me know if it does. And if you have a set of tiles at home, try this exercise yourself. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random polls for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.